Charles Schwab versus Trading212. Now, this video is going to be a complete comparison. I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about these brokers, including the pros and cons, the fees, the trading platform, and everything like that. So, if you are interested in saving hours of your time researching these brokers, then keep watching as this video will contain everything you need to know in under 15 minutes. Okay, so if we come straight down here, we can see we are given an overall score right here. Charles Schwab is a 4.7 and Trading212 is a 4.5. However, guys, this should definitely not be taken at face value as these brokers are very different. They are for very different purposes and they are going to be more handy and more useful for different types of traders. Now, on the left-hand side, we have Charles Schwab that says, recommended for investors and traders looking for solid research, low fees, and great customer service. Whereas Trading212 is recommended for equity investors and CFD traders looking for easy to use trading platform. Now, if we come down here, we can see the first thing is the fees. So we can open this up and we can see that Trading212 is going to offer completely free stock and ETF fees in the US, UK and Germany. Whereas Charles Schwab is only going to offer stocks and ETFs in the US. However, these are also free. So, I mean, for 90% of you guys, this isn't going to make a difference as you are going to be trading in the US. However, for some of you guys, if you are trading in the UK and Germany, Charles Schwab is not an option. Next, we have Forex fees. Now, Trading212 do offer Forex. However, these fees are pretty expensive. They are actually very high. So, once again, probably wouldn't recommend trading Forex on either of these platforms. Funds, we can see Charles Schwab does offer funds. Once again, a little bit on the higher side. Now, Bonds, Charles Schwab does offer this. They are completely free. Uh, they are completely free, but they only cover the US, whereas Trading212 does not offer bonds anywhere. Taking a look at options right here, we can see that Charles Schwab does offer US stock index options for 65 cents per contract. Now, fees, to be honest, I would say this is around about average. Uh, they don't offer them anywhere outside the US and Trading212 do not offer options anywhere. Futures, we can see that once again, Charles Schwab does offer these in the US. Uh, $1.50 per contract, once again, a little bit on the high end, in my opinion. Now, taking a look at CFDs, uh, we can see this is surprisingly not something that Charles Schwab offers. However, Trading212 do, and th these are decent fees. These are actually pretty cheap fees on the S&P and Europe 50. However, when we get down to Apple and Vodafone, like the individual CFDs, they are pretty expensive. Next, we can take a look at the non-trading fees, and this looks pretty good to see right here. We can see neither of these brokers charges an account fee, no custody fee, no inactivity fee and no withdrawal fee. Actually, there is a slight withdrawal fee on Charles Schwab. So free withdrawals, but wire transfers cost $25. So as long as you aren't wire transferring, then that is all completely free on both of these brokers. Taking a look at the deposits and withdrawals, how easy is it to get money in and take money out? And we can see that Trading212 is very, very good. You can bank transfer, you can transfer in from credit and debit card, and you can also go with e-wallets. And the withdrawal time for Trading212 is one day. Charles Schwab, on the other hand, definitely not as good. The only way that you can get money in and out is bank transfer. And for the withdrawal time, this is two days, which is not terrible, but I mean two days compared to one day, as well as not having a very good variety of options to transfer in and out. Trading212 is definitely taking the point here. Next, we can take a look at account opening or how easy is it to open an account. And we can see that both of these platforms are relatively easy. You can open an account fully online, meaning you don't have to actually go into a broker. A $0 minimum deposit on both of these brokers, which is very nice to see. Uh, you can open an account within 24 hours. And then for the required documents, this is just very, very standard stuff, such as your driving license, passport, or some other form of government issued ID, as well as maybe like a utility bill and a bank statement to prove where you say you live. Next, we can take a look at these trading platforms. So if we start out with Trading212 right here, we can see that it has a very, very nice platform. And honestly, Trading212 is one of my favorite platforms in the world. Like this and also a platform called Weeble are my two favorites. So yeah, it is very, very nice, very simple to use. You can see we have like your watch list, top winners, top losers, popular, US, UK stocks, 
new on trading 212 and basically your portfolio and everything like that so that is trading 212 and then we have Charles Schwab. Now, Charles Schwab, the trading platform, is definitely not as nice. Uh, you can see it kind of looks like, what's that trading platform? MetaTrader. Uh, it kind of looks like MetaTrader. So definitely not as nice there. And I'm absolutely going to give the points to Trading212. Now, the markets and products we have already spoken about, guys. Like when we spoke about the fees up here, we already covered what products each of these brokers offer. But if you want to see that again, I will leave this up on the screen for a second right there. And then we can move down to research and education. Now research and education, broker chooser says that Charles Schwab is going to take this and usually guys when you have investment platforms that are meant for investors rather than traders, they are usually going to have very good research and education. Now we can see right here Charles Schwab, this is the broker so we have like technical analysis, a nice chart here, we have like reports and news. So Charles Schwab definitely taking the point in this area. And then customer service, both of these platforms look absolutely incredible. Now, I would usually say that, of course, Charles Schwab is going to win because they're also off the phone. However, if if Broker Chooser says that both of these platforms are five stars, I personally don't have any experience with either Charles Schwab or Trading212 customer service. So I'm just going to take Broker Chooser for what they say and just understand that both of these platforms have absolutely incredible customer service. Finally, we can go down to security right here uh, or the investor protection amount. Now, Charles Schwab is $500,000, securities up to $500,000, cash up to $250,000, and then trading 212, £85,000 for clients under FCA, and €20,000 for clients under CYSEC or FSC Bulgaria. Now, you can read through the rest of this right here, and we can see like countries of regulation, foundation date, and all of that good stuff. However, we are basically at the end here, guys. So if I go right back up to the top, let me give you my personal opinion. Now, what I would personally say, guys, is if you are going to be investing, you probably want to go with Charles Schwab. If you are going to be trading, so like in and out of the market very, very quickly, you'd probably be better off going with Trading212. As I said, like Charles Schwab is mainly targeted towards investors, long-term trading. Trading212, definitely more towards traders in and out of the market quickly and the main way that you can tell this guys is from looking at the trading platform uh, look I, I said trading 212 was way better a uh, broker chooser it kind of agrees with me but it still doesn't rate charles schwab as badly the reason for that is because it does what it is intended for it is intended for investing so i guess it does what it says on the tin Either way, guys, that is Charles Schwab versus Trading212. If you learned something from this video or you found it valuable in some way, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, take it easy.